And now the climax to a great meet here at Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Everybody in their seats and ready to watch the 400 meter individual medley. In this one, you'll see all the great strokes of swimming, each performed by each participant. The world record, four minutes, 55 and 6 tenths seconds, is held by Ted Stickles, who is in this race. He holds just about every record in the books in this one, including the pool record. Here's the lineup, however. In lane one, we have young Dick Roth, 14 years old, the youngest qualifier in this meet. Lane two, we have Carl Roby, 17 years old, from the Vesper Boat Club in Philadelphia. Goes to Monsignor Bonner High School. Lane three, we have Bill Utley, a 16-year-old, who is in the water right now, swimming unattached. He's from Del Rio, Texas, but trains at Hinsdale, Illinois. There is Bill Utley. In lane four, the world champion, Ted Stickles from the Indianapolis AC, his home actually in California, world American meat record holder. Goes to Indiana University. There's Ted Stickles. In lane five, we have the man who, just a couple of months ago, broke Ted Stickles' world record. However, Stickles got it back again, Gerhard Hetz of Hoff, Bavaria, West Germany. Gerhard Hetz of the German team, here he comes now. Lives just three miles from the East German border, this lad, he's a long way from home right now. In lane six, we have Charles Gantner from New Brunswick, Canada, swimming, however, for the Westfield, New Jersey YMCA. In lane seven, we'll have Ken Webb, representing the Multnomah AC of Portland, Oregon, another high school standout. And in lane eight, John Porter, swimming unattached, his home is in Santa Ana, California. A great field. They'll go down and back in each of the strokes. The first stroke will be the butterfly, then the backstroke, then the breaststroke, then freestyle. Remember now, Ted Stickles never saw the fellow who broke his record a couple of months ago, Gerhard Hetz, until he saw him earlier today in the heats. Now, for the first time, these two great swimmers go against each other. Now, Stickles is in lane four. Hetz is right alongside him in lane five, one lane further from the camera. At the moment, the leader in lane three is Bill Utley from Hinsdale, Illinois. His home, actually, in Del Rio, Texas. Bill Utley in lane three is the leader. And swimming absolutely even in lanes four and five are Stickles and Gerhard Hetz. This is the butterfly, the first of four strokes, and there's the look at it from underwater. As they come out of the turn, Utley is still the leader. However, Hetz has begun to pour it on a little bit. Ted Stickles told us earlier that he would just try to stay with Hetz on this leg. He has not stayed with him. Stickles is a good a little more than a late behind Hetz, and Hetz is the leader right now. Gerhard Hetz of Germany, the leader. But in lane two now, Carl Roby has moved up and is almost even with Hetz, pulls even with him as they make the turn and go into the backstroke. This is one of the stronger strokes for Ted Stickles, the backstroke. So we'll be watching him in lane four. We'll also be watching the leader, who is Carl Roby, in lane two right now. But Gerhard Hetz now has taken the lead again. Hetz in lane five is the leader. Roby is second. However, Stickles is moving up in lane four, and alongside him in lane three, so is Bill Utley. It's a four-man race at this point. Could be a great one. Ted Stickles is quite strong in the breaststroke also. However, Hetz is strong in the free stride. The last one, that's Hetz on the left of your screen and Stickles right alongside him on the right. Here they come, right at you. The two greatest individual medley swimmers in the world. Hetz on the left, Stickles on the right. And now above water, Gerhard Hetz is still the leader and Ted Stickles has moved into second position. Hetz the leader, Stickles is second, but Stickles is really pulling up. He may be even by the time they finish this backstroke leg. Then they'll go into the breaststroke. Almost exactly even. And Hetz and Stickles are now pulling away from the field. Roby has dropped back and Utley has dropped back. Utley is just one length behind. Now they go to the breaststroke. And on this one, once again, Ted Stickles has to make some gains because according to the word we have from Germany, none of us have ever seen this German boy before. He is great on his freestyle, freestyle leg. And there is Stickles making his bid now, moving a half length out in front of Hetz. Boy from Indiana University, his home in California, trying to prove he's still the greatest at this event in the world, and he is really pouring it on. Stickles is a length and a half ahead of Hetz. Hetz will have to have some free trial, I'll tell you that, to catch uh, Stickles the way he's going today. There's Stickles on the right, Hetz on the left. 
and see how much sooner Stickles makes the turn. There he goes. Hatch still going in the other direction. Pet Stickles drilling magnificently here. Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. The crowd really will pick it up now. Remember, they still have the freestyle leg to go. Stickles now a length and a half in front. He is not, however, increasing the lead anymore. He's sneaked a look around there to see where Hetz was. I don't think he saw him at all because Hetz is. We said a length and a half. Now almost two lengths behind. Ted Stickle said that at this point he heard Bill Fleming say he'd like to have five seconds on Hetz. Well, he doesn't have five seconds on him. He's got closer to about three seconds. And now Stickle starts his freestyle leg, the last leg of this race. And Hetch is on his. Hetch starts out a good three body lengths behind, perhaps three and a half. Let's see if he can make it up. He has a long way to go. Hetch, Hetch of Germany making his bid. He came 4,000 miles to try to win this race. Uh, Jim McCabe. It, it looks impossible at this point. Yes, Bill. I just had a, a word from the, uh, the timer here that Stickles had a four and seven tenths lead, so he was very close to his five second lead. Very close there. Well, there is Stickles turning for home. He has 40 yards to go. Hetz is gaining a little bit. But not fast enough at this point to win the race. Stickles has it. He's got it all wrapped up right now. They can tie the ribbon. The world's record, remember, is 4.45.6 for the distance. Looks like he's going to break it. Here comes Ted Stickles, five lengths out in front. There's our clock, 4.51.6, coming to the world's record. Hetz is going to be second. Gerhard Hetz has finished, and finishing third. In lane three is Bill Utley from Hinsdale, Illinois. One unofficial time well under the world's record. Here's another one, 51.6. That also would be well under the world's record. And another 51.6. It looks like Ted Stickles, utterly exhausted there, has set another new world record and may have beaten the old one, his own, by four seconds. That's the listed world record, of course. He's a tired young man. We'll give him a chance to catch his breath before uh, Bill Fleming gets alongside of him down there. And there you see Gerhard Hatz just moving away from Ted Stickle after he came over to congratulate him on his victory. And here comes the official time, 4.51.5 for Ted Stickles. That is more than four seconds under the listed world record. However, it is not as fast as the 4.51 flat pending record that he swam a short time ago. It is, however, faster than the mark that was set by Hetz a few months ago. Let's go down now and meet Ted Stickles again with Bill Fleming. And it's a mighty happy Ted Stickles right now. It's kind of tough to talk to him. He's kind of out of breath, but congratulations, Ted. Where did you pick it up? Breaststroke. Had to be there or never. Oh, you sure did. You picked up almost a full five seconds on him uh, at that point. Uh, your freestyle actually was faster, too. Did you realize that? Yeah, I knew it was a little faster. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. How about the backstroke? The arm bother you at all? I knew it was... I could feel it, yeah. Did you at any time see your competition, or were you looking straight ahead? I knew where he was all the time. <laughs> Well, you certainly did. You had him very well bracketed, Ted Stickles, and a great champion to add to your laurels.